John Dixon, care of the Dixon Clinic. Personal. Hmm, that last word's underlined three times. Probably a mash note from one of your grateful female patients with a brand new pug nose. Shall I uh, leave the room? Let's just stop being silly, huh? Dad, what is it? Dad! Well, that's that. All we can do now is to let him rest. That's my prescription for you, too. Dr. Simon, how, uh... How bad is he? Well, you're a physician, Bob. You know, all coronaries are tricky. However, your father was in good health, and this was his first attack. I'd say that the prognosis was encouraging. Well, come along. He's asleep now and will be for several hours. All right, I'll just stay here for a minute or so, if you don't mind. Yes, of course. I'll be right outside, Doctor. All right, nurse. two miles north of Morales Bay. This is an emergency. M.R. we hear that news bulletin about Bob's father having a heart attack. Yeah. The very next day we get a call from Bob himself. He wants us to take him on a trip. Well, he said his father was doing all right. Anyway, patients don't stop getting ill or injured just because a doctor's father has a heart attack. Well, did Bob say he wanted us to fly him to see a patient? No, but it seems like a reasonable presumption. Dixon Clinic coming up. Dad. The same, he's under sedation. Let's get going. I want to get back as soon as possible. Where are we headed? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a place called Sea View Lodge. It's about uh, two miles north of Morales Bay. Right. Just over those hills. About four minutes. I wonder if this is right. Maybe I shouldn't have left him. Well, the clinic can always reach us through our base radio if there's any change in your father's condition. That's true. This seems to be a pretty important patient, Bob. It's uh, one of my uh, father's patients. I'm going in his place. Dr. 
Dixon? That's right. You gentlemen wait here. Please, Chuck, stay down by the helicopter and take any messages for me. This way. is this? You're not Johnny Dixon. Dr. John Dixon is my father. Could be. You look something like him. Where is he? He couldn't come. What's the emergency? You a doctor, a plastic surgeon? Yes, I'm my father's assistant. He sent you here. Are you the man who sent this? What about it? I want to know who you are. <laughs> who am I? Your old man didn't tell you, huh? My father is in an oxygen tent under sedation back at the clinic. When he read that, he had a heart attack. Now, I want to know why. Well, I didn't figure it was going to be good news for him, hearing that I was back. Back from where? Who are you? I'll tell you who I am. I am Mike Ricky. Oh, Mike Ricky? I am Mike. The boss. Boss Ricky. I thought you were deported a long time ago. Long enough. It's going to be 26 years, but I'm back to stay. And your old man is going to help me. My father? Yeah, I need a good plastic surgeon. He's the best. He'll keep his mouth shut. Do you seriously think my father would operate on you, a fugitive, a notorious criminal? You must be out of your mind. Maybe not. From what you tell me, he's in very bad shape. Could be. I left to make it out with you. With me? <laughs> no. Not a chance. Over, Doc. You came here to find out something, right? Sure. You wanted to know why Johnny folded up on a kind of a couple of words on a piece of paper. Well, I'll tell you. You see, Johnny was one of my boys. You what? Yeah, fresh out of school. And a wife and a little kid, you. Things were pretty bad for him. I needed a guy in my outfit who could take care of bullet holes, knife cuts, for instance, without running to the cops about it. How do you see? Johnny needed money real bad. That's how it was. I don't believe you. Use your head. Would I be sucker enough to send for Johnny if he didn't know I could ruin him? Oh, so what do you want me to do? Finish a job they started in the old country. They changed my fingerprints there, but then I had to run for it. But I still need a new face. That I can't move around till I get one. That's the emergency. Automobile accident. I'm taking him back to my father's clinic. It's an emergency. We'll be at the clinic in 20 minutes. We haven't heard to the contrary, so I guess your dad's okay.
Nothing comfortable, Doctor. Captain Bowers is here and would like to see you. Bowers? Where is he? He's with his daughter. Take Mr. Richards to room 108 and see that he's not disturbed. Fine, sir. Do you wish him registered as your private patient? Yes, I'll take care of the details later. Why don't you lead the way? We'll help Mr. Richards. Thank you. Hello, Doctor. Oh, I heard you wanted to see me. Uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry about your father. Oh, uh, this came into the office a little while ago. It concerns you, so I thought I'd bring it along. Mike, the boss, Ricky, is supposed to have been smuggled back into the country. They almost nabbed him in Europe at a plastic surgeon. That, that's why we're checking around here. It's just routine. Thanks. I'll uh, hang on to this. I'll do that. Oh, and uh, give my best to Dr. John. I'll pay him a visit as soon as he's up to receiving company. Well, so long. i got to get going. Goodbye, Captain. Nurse is taking care of him. Say, you'd better get some rest. Uh, can you take me back to the Seabury Lodge? What do you mean, when? Right now? No, uh, later. About uh, 2 a.m. to be exact. Got an operation to perform first. Bob, are you in some kind of a jam? I forget it. I'll find some other way. Now, wait a minute, Bob. We didn't say we wouldn't do it. Now, look, I shouldn't have asked you in the first place. Well, whatever it is, you don't look very happy about it. Well, there's something I've got to do. It's for my father. Look, uh, you'll only be taking a chance, and I can't even tell you why. Let it go. You'll be better off. Bob, we'll be here. 2 a.m., right? That's right. I'll see you. Dixon. It took your own sweet time getting around to me. The sooner I get out of here, the better it'll be for all of us. Don't you know that? I know it. You'll be getting out of here tonight. We'll fly you back immediately after the operation. You're a very popular man. Too popular. Anybody else it is? I'm not sure. I got it from a police officer, and he was waiting for me when we landed. Can you do the job on me without any help? That's the way I'll have to do it. I'll use sodium pentothal and a local anesthetic. You won't feel a thing until after the local wears off. Good. You'll be the last one to see this face. When do we start? As soon as I make very sure, we won't be interrupted. Hey, Doc. Yeah? I like that name you gave me, Mr. Richards. Sounds kind of dignified. Well, there's no wind. Weather's clear all the way. We have a full moon. We shouldn't have any trouble. Weather's not what's bothering me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, look, Bob and his father are both very fine people. Whatever it is they're involved in, it can't be too bad. I hope. Yeah, let's go. I'm after sleep. That's the after effects of the sodium pentothal. Don't touch that bandage. He'll mind nothing. My face is a hunk of marble. You're full of Novocaine. 
You wear off in a while. Relax, go back to sleep. Sleep. Uh. How much longer have we got? Just a few minutes now. Why, Bob? What's bothering you? Nothing. I can't tell you anything. You can or you won't? Have it any way you like. Give you guys a bonus. Stay here. Bob, wait. I said stay here. I'll be back. You're a smart boy, Frankie. Grab it. Cover them when they come in. Where are your friends, Doc? They're coming. Oh, yeah? Well, I may want to get out of here in a hurry, so you better ask him to stick around. No. I want you here, Doc, to take care of me. And I don't want those two floating around loose. You see what I mean? I won't talk if that's what you're worried about. Who's worried? Just like to play it safe. So you better go out there and buy them in. Stand off a little ways and ask him real loud so I can hear it. That way nobody gets hurt. Cover him. I'm staying here. Take off. I'll see you when I get back. Are you sure that's what you want, Bob? Please, Chuck, just get going. Okay. You think you're a smart guy, don't you, Doc? Why didn't you shoot? I was expecting you to. You see, I don't particularly care what happens to me anymore. You'll care. I'll make you care. Chuck and P.T. took a lot of chances for me without even asking why. Just because I was their friend. You see, friendship works in two ways. I had to get them off the hook. You got a lot of more nerve than I figured you for. It'll be light by the time we land. You know, I sure don't feel right about leaving Bob up there that way. Neither do I, but what else could we do about it? I suppose nothing. He said that's what he wanted. Yeah. He's in trouble, that's for sure. But he made it pretty clear that the only way we could help him was to go along and keep our mouths shut. And that's just exactly what we're doing. Police. I've got some questions and I need some fast answers. Where's Dr. Bob Dixon? Why? Have you ever seen this man before? No, PT? Not me. I'd remember him. You mean you didn't fly Bob in this mug to the clinic and then back again? I don't know. Well, you better know. Relax. He's telling the truth. Our passenger's face was bandaged both trips. Yeah, I guess that figures. What makes you so sure that this is the fellow that rode with us? Because Bob's father sent for me and told me a little story a couple hours ago. Bob's in serious trouble and I gotta get to him fast. Oh. We better check with Dr. John. Yeah. No, you can't. Why not? He's dead. Oh, no. Dead? Well, uh, what about Bob? He doesn't know. Yes, he does. He got a call through to the hospital and they told him. Only he didn't tell them where he was. All right, come on.
What's all the shooting about? Keep your hands out in the open, Ricky. Ricky? It must be a mistake, officer. My name is Richards, Martin Richards. I'm a patient of Dr. Dixon's. Sit down. Get those bandages off, Doctor. Isn't there danger of infection? No, it uh, won't make any difference. John Dixon left a wonderful memory behind him, and I'd like to keep it that way. Now, get in that contraption of yours and get out of here. The three of you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Captain. 